think what we're starting to see from a technology perspective is a convergence of kind of the in-store experience with the digital experience. I think uh, up till now we've had kind of e-commerce as a separate form of commerce as opposed to just purchasing goods in store. And certainly we're going to start to see that digital process or those digital technologies move in store and, and we're already starting to see um, mobile self-checkout and as that continues to grow how that changes the whole layout or experience of the in-store shopping uh, journey. I think we're also starting to see uh, greater efficiencies brought into store and, and you're starting to see that with the use of robotics not just in the back of store in the warehouses but actually in the front of store. Um, scanning the aisles, checking for inventory, um, even starting to see them cleaning up spills, right? So it's about creating more efficient experiences. Um, one other big trend that I, I predict will, will happen over the next 30 years is, is a greater efficiency on the supply chain side, right? How do you efficiently move goods uh, from the warehouse or from the store to the consumer's home? And maybe that's uh, click and collect or pick and pack or having that delivered to wherever they might be at that time. One means of understanding the future that we leverage at Dunhumby is it was via our venture capital unit, where we go and invest in new innovations, business models, and technologies that are kind of disrupting the retail industry. Um, and we use that to both inform our own business, but also help uh, inform our clients what new changes can they expect happen. And so we'll go and invest in whether that's mobile self-checkout technologies, grocery e-commerce, or certainly within the ad tech space. We see a lot of changes happening. I think this is almost a, a trend we're seeing um, within retail in general. As, as more retailers build out their own uh, private label brand, um, conversely, the, the CPGs are building their own direct-to-consumer proposition and almost becoming retailers themselves. And so it'll be interesting to see over the next 30 years how those two worlds interrelate. Um, you know, do retailers become CPGs themselves? and do CPGs become retailers. I think it will be a, an interesting dynamic to watch for uh, over the next few years.